at bills waiting to be signed by Governor Phil Bryant. If it passes, evicted tenants could be forced to leave their home immediately after a court rules they're behind on rent. Both chambers of Congress passed a bill this week that would eliminate the grace period delinquent tenants have to vacate their homes. A judge will allow tenants up to three days to vacate instead of 10. Lawmakers say it's up to Governor Phil Bryant to sign it into law. Right now, the practice is to have a 10 day delay before the order is issued to actually evict someone. Some legislators say the 10 days makes an easier transition for a tenant who has to either catch up on rent or pack up their belongings and move. The new legislation will expedite the eviction process. Basically, uh, say that an individual could be evicted from his house immediately as soon as courts adjourn. Recently elected state representative Ronnie Crudup Jr., who's also a landlord, believes tenants sometimes need the extra time. Right here in South Jackson, which uh, the area where I live and the area that we kind of do a lot of our work, we see a lot uh, kind of a high eviction rate. So I think the landlords are protected pretty well in this manner. Under the new law, the tenant must also show how those extra days would best serve the interests of justice and equity. Some landlords say they've seen firsthand how a tenant can be outweighed during the eviction process. Tenants have to go through a lot of issues. You know, um, housing is sometimes hard to come by. The, um, the rent rate is pretty high uh, in my perspective. Lawmakers say Mississippi has one of the highest eviction rates in the country. Some believe if it passes, the new bill could make it even easier for a landlord to evict. It's going to hurt a lot of folks, uh, you know, from where what we see already. We already have a lot of properties sometimes that's end up vacant, uh, and I think we probably end up probably even more. We reached out to lawmakers who authored and co-sponsored the bill and didn't hear back. It's on its way to the governor's desk. Live at the Capitol, Jennifer Lott, 16 WAPT News. <laughs>